Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening. Extreme appeasement. Extreme appeasement of the Muslims or extreme appeasement of any community. Do you believe that that is desirable? Should any political party, you know, that wants to go all out to appease the minorities be normalized in the country? What is the cost involved in such an exercise where you end up alienating the majority also of the country, which is the Hindus. Now, once again, we are going to be talking about the Congress. On your screens are images, for sure, of Rahul Gandhi, because he tells us that he runs a Mohabbat ki dukan. But in that Mohabbat ki dukan, there is also the state of Karnataka that today has become a sarkar of many, many, many and many U-turns. Now, why do we say this? The latest is the Waqf trigger. Remember, we are at Times now exposed the entire nexus of how there was a larger plan to use up land that belongs to Hindu and to Christian farmers and to call that the land of the Waqf, Muslim land. Then to these images that came in of the lamppost. Remember the Hanuman Mace and everything that was put up there? The SDPI, that is an ally of the Congress, had a problem with it. They said, we don't like this. So to appease them, to appease the SDPI, the government says we will remove these lampposts. That also happened. In the same state, you also had a problem with the hijab. There was a huge controversy. There was a problem with the chanting of the Hanuman Chalisa. Again, in the same state, Rahul Gandhi has largely remained quiet. Now, today, the Vak story has become far bigger. For the very first time, you have the sitting chief minister breaking his silence. What he says, I will tell you that in just a moment because that is not important. What is important is what made Siddharamaya break his silence. He's accepted there was a mistake. So that means there was a larger plan to use up that land. But why? Why was there an attempt made to use up the land that belongs to Hindu and to Christian farmers and to declare that a Muslim land? Why? Why is the government in Karnataka doing this again and again and again? Let's bring up the top five questions at five because the story, like I said, is far more concerning today. We do not know whether we'll have answer to those questions, but let's still ask those questions. Has the Congress's hand in the work land grab now been completely exposed? We spoke about this story last week. We spoke about this story yesterday also. And today there are documents. There is more proof. The state today, interestingly, has decided to backtrack. But what made the state do this? What made the chief minister break his silence? I'll tell you about that in just a moment. The next big question on your screens, ladies and gentlemen, is the Congress party now going too far, too far to appease the Muslims? Why is, why is this happening again in Karnataka? And will this extreme Muslim appeasement really help? Or this will hurt the Congress? Is the Congress ready for the backlash? Is the Congress already facing a backlash? Important questions. The next one. Will this, you know, extreme polarization that you see the appeasement also by the Congress, is there a larger pattern to this? Remember right from the controversy about the waqf, the usurping of land, to the hijab, to the slugfest over the Hanuman Chalisa? Why is it always minority first for the Congress? Like we all say nation first, but the Congress says minority first. So why is it minority first for the Congress? We'll also ask that. From, you know, being a pro-Muslim party is for a moment okay. Even if we accept the Congress wants to be pro-Muslim. But then in being pro-Muslim, you're also being anti-Hindu. Can that be tolerated? Can that be normalized in a country with 80% Hindus? And is this Rahul Gandhi's quote-unquote Mohabbat ki dukan? Remember again and again we talk of the Mohabbat ki dukan because that is the entire pitch that Rahul Gandhi has used to in fact throw out his ideology and he says this is how we practice our politics. Take a moment now to listen in to the very first response that has come in from the state's chief minister. This is following all the controversy, all the revelations, all the document trail, and also a response from his own sitting minister that is on camera now, where there was a larger attempt to usurp the land of the farmers. Today, he says, we are taking back our order. Visa <laughs> 
ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಾ ಆಯ್ತಾ ರೈತರು ಒಂದು ವೇಳೆ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರು ನೋಟಿಸನ್ನು ವಾಪಸ್ ತಗೋ ಒಂದು ವೇಳೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರೆ ವಾಪಸ್ ತಗೋ So Siddharamaya says we are taking back all those orders. But why were those orders even given out in the first place? How did the farmers receive those eviction notices? And had it not been for the continuous pressure by the media, by the BJP, would the Congress have done this still? Let's say good evening to Mohan Vishwa, who is the BJP spokesperson. Anurag Naidu is a noted author. Imran Ahmad Ali is a lawyer and a political activist. We also do have uh, Asif Sohail, who's a political analyst, completing our panel. Imran, let's begin by asking you also because you're a lawyer. So, you know, I don't need to read the law to you. You can, in fact, tell us more about the law. Now, what was the larger game plan? And today, when you have the documents, when you have the minister, you know, on camera speaking about Ek Mahine Ka Sameh Diya Jayega, let's ensure that everything that belongs to the Vakf comes back to the Vakf. Why is the Congress always, always working for minority first? Let me start by correcting you hmm. by saying that you started by saying that being pro-Muslim hmm. is being anti-Hindu. This narrative needs to absolutely change. You need to consider for a fact and let's, let's take a moment of congratulating that at least in one state, the government is pro the farmer. Let congratulating? It the you, you create a problem. You know, when there is so much of outcry, Imran, then you say, oh, we must congratulate you. Who was at fault? The Tisildar? You tell me. The Tisildar? The Tisildar is found at fault? No, no. Are, are, you, are you saying, are you saying, me, are you saying, no, no, Imran, are let you saying the chief minister, saying. the chief let minister was not in the know? Your own mis minister, Zamir Ahmad, you're saying he was not in the know? First you finish, then let me answer. No, no, I have to ask you these questions. We so have to ask, we have to ask and get me. these questions let me answered. Let answer what you're asking me first, then go on to the subsequent question. Yes, go on, please. Saying that the mistake has been caused by a Tisildar, who is by, who is somebody who is employed by the state government. Hmm. He, he reports to the district collector. Now, the amendments that are now being sought, hmm. now you realize that the mistake has been made by the Tisildar. Now, if you are saying that the person who he reports to, I would say even the district collector is at fault in the particular matter. As per the amendment, you are giving more powers to him. No, no, Imran. Now, Imran, it's not about the Tisildar. So do not try to deflect the story. You see, let's take the bull by its horns. No, Imran. See, you being a lawyer, you being a lawyer, you're fighting a good case for your Congress government. I'm not fighting. You know, I, I don't grudge you that. But listen, listen. listen, listen. There is a minister by the name farmers of Zamir Ahmad Khan. He is participating country. in a vakf adalat. No After that, this mantri sets a one-month deadline. Everything is captured on camera. If you want, I can play out that you know, entire response. You, you should realize that with the farmers, there's no Hindu <laughs> farmer, there's no Muslim farmer, it's a farmer. At least first we're giving them their due. Let's take let's let's first agree to that. You are giving them their when due. When we talk about tribunals, there's a lot of anti wakaf tribunal, or oh, the tribunal should not exist, we hmm. should go to a court. Now do you understand why specialized knowledge is required? This is why we have an NCLT for company law. This is why we have an ITAT for income tax. This is why you need specialized knowledge. And what is, is a part of the WAC board? WAC board can say that this land belongs fault. to us. So eviction notices fault. can be if given. You see, if you see this whole fault, it again comes down to the revenue official. The revenue okay. official, if found guilty and has done this on purpose, should be taken to task. I absolutely say it and I will but never What change about your system. minister, Zamir Ahmed? What about is him? What about what he has been saying? Is he personally, has he actively contributed? That is a matter that needs to be determined. Okay. You know, you Imran, say, Imran, you like I said, because you wear a lawyer's is, hat, you wear a guilty. lawyer's hat, so you, you know how to, you know, string around these arguments. But no, let's no, call I'm a spade a spade. See, you know, it's about black and white. For, making a for the last enough. many, many days, this Find controversy has been brewing. Until Thank first the documents come out, then this video okay. proof comes out. Finally, the chief minister concedes that there was an error, there, there was a mistake, no and he says we are taking Let all these notices back. But no, no, Imran, Imran, you have said what you wanted to say. I want to get in Absolutely. Mohan Vishwa right away. So Mohan Vishwa, we should be thankful. The farmers should be thankful. We all as citizens need to be thankful that the Congress government is letting the farmers keep their own land. We should be thankful. I never said that. 
Dipti, Dipti, this is utter nonsense. Whereas my friend, being a lawyer, comparing NCLAT and ITAT hmm. with the work fact. Come on, NCLAT and ITAT has different people from different background. It has an experts. It don't. It has. It, it won't restrict itself to one particular region. Hmm. Religion. It doesn't have a. Un, what do you say? The unlimited power to acquire someone's land. Come on, you can go for appeal against an order of NCLAT. You can go for an appeal against an ITAT. Where you can go for an appeal against an order of work board? They can call any property as a work property. That is the kind of amendment in 2013 the Congress have done. It is utter nonsense to compare these two. Okay? Let me come back to okay, Karnataka. Imran, Imran, now and my friend here sitting says, you must like, please as you out, rightly please pointed one out, by one, please. It is a very important Imran, issue, please, so we all listen, must be heard. Please. Imran, I am yes. also a chartered accountant. Imran, I am also a chartered accountant. Even I know law better. Even I do practice lit litigation every day. Please listen. Okay, listen to me. When it comes to Karnataka, hmm. like as you rightly said, there is a work adalat going on. Who is doing work adalat? The same work minister, Mr. Zamir Ahmad Khan. What did he say? Hmm. He shows a picture of a Kapristan and he asked the people who are surrounded in the Sabha and he asked them to put a compound wall for all those work property. Hmm. That's the kind of statement he is giving. And also the same Mr. M.B. Patil who comes out today and says that, you know, no notice has been given. He himself have tweeted on 22nd October stating that regarding the notices given, he has been talked, he yes. has spoken to the, the district commissioner of Tashildars. Come on. Hmm. This is the utter lie they are doing. Even yesterday there was a notice for 1,440 farmers in one more district in Yadgir. And also there is one more notice in Dharwad. And today also we have been getting a notice given in Kolar. Hmm. Come on, it is spreading. It is spreading across the state. They have been given notice just like that without intimating, without talking to farmers. Hmm. In the RTC, the ownership has been changed to WAF. Why they are doing it when there is a JPC has been considered the center to review the amendment to work, hmm. even after notice. Knowing the fact all these discussions are happening at the center, the Karnataka government who is known for appeasement, I will mm. tell you in 2023 elections, Congress got 1 crore, 1, 1 crore 67 lakhs vote. Out of 1 crore 67 lakhs vote, more than 55 to 60 lakhs votes belongs to one particular community. Okay. Come on, for the sake of that vote, what they are given, they are throwing away these lands as a gift. This is what they have been doing from past 18 months. Okay, so you, you see the there is a larger Mr. pattern. Says, Mohan, allow, allow me to get in both Anurag and Asif in also into this conversation. Asif, Asif first to you. Asif first to you. Do, you. do you sense that there could be a problem for the Congress here on? I mean, you want to appease the Muslim. You can go to any length to do that. But tomorrow you will also let the STPI dictate how your government is working. They have a problem with these lampposts. So, you know, you must bring them down. They have a problem with giving, you know, an award to a teacher, a renowned principal only because, you know, there was this entire hijab controversy involved. They have a problem with the Hanuman Chalisa, so people are beaten up. What's going on in Karnataka? Madam, see, uh, first of all, I will tell you what is the pro-Muslim government and anti-Muslim government. I don't know about this. You are saying that Congress is pro-Muslim, so who is anti-Muslim? Tell me about that. You are saying that Congress is pro-Muslim. You are saying that there is no... मैडम देखिए कांग्रेस पार्टी प्रो इंडिया है एंटी इंडिया नहीं है हिंदुस्तान में जो लोग आते हैं उन सबको साथ देगी कांग्रेस मेरी बात खत्म करने दीजिए आप जी बोलिए देखिए अगर आप बात कर रहे हैं कि वहां पे वक्त की वक्त की जमीन बताई गई मैडम नोटिस इश्यू की गई है लैंड एक्वायर करी नहीं गई ना एक्विजेशन नहीं हुआ है नोटिस का मतलब क्या है कि यू हैव टू गिव यू एक्सप्लेनेशन द अदर पार्टी हैज टू गिव देर एक्सप्लेनेशन आफ्टर दैट that collector will decide or the revenue department will decide who is the owner. If this is a mistake, is there an error they are taking? Look, Madam, if they are saying that by mistake they have given, then the new amendment is coming from the collector's work bill, then the collector's powers are given. So, you understand how big an issue will be in Hindustan. So, I am saying that this is not in Karnataka. In many places, there are many places where the work of property is given to the government's properties. So, we have to give it back. You have to give it back to the government. You have to give it back to me. अच्छा रहेगा ना देखिए जिसकी जगह जो है हकदार को मिलना चाहिए चाहे वो हिंदू की हो या मुसलमान की हो और या सिख की हो और दूसरी चीज आप जब बता रहे हैं कि ये एक जो हिजाब का किस्सा हुआ ये सारे मैडम आप ये चीज को तो बोलिए ना जो मॉब लिंचिंग की गई है लोगों को हिजाब के लिए मारा गया वो क्या है वो क्या एंटी इंडिया मूवमेंट था क्या वो फ्रीडम मूवमेंट था क्या देखिये मैडम गलत तो गलत होता है वी शुड नॉट 
डिफ्रेंशिएट एज ए मुस्लिम और हिंदू और सिख गलती के साथ ना आप देंगे ना मैं दूंगा एक चीज हमें समझना चाहिए देखिए बोल रहा हूं ना मैं गलत तो गलत हो गया चाहे वो मुसलमान के साथ हो या एक एक हिंदू की बेटी भी हो या मेरी बहन हो जो हिंदू बहनों के साथ भी अगर कोई गलत करते हैं तो उसे बोलने की हिम्मत रखना चाहिए हमें दस ए ब्यूटी ऑफ अवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और हमारे मुल्क की खूबसूरती है ये ये सारे तो हम ये चीजों को सपोर्ट नहीं करना चाहिए अगर गवर्नमेंट से गलती हुई है तो उनकी जमीन उन्हें वापस मिलना चाहिए किसानों के लिए और जो मुसलमानों की जमीन भी कब्जा की गई है पूरे हिंदुस्तान के अंदर उसे भी वापस देने के लिए एक कमेटी फॉर्म करे उसके ऊपर एक एक प्रॉपर रिपोर्ट हो और जो जिसकी जमीन है उसको वापस मिलना चाहिए मेरी यही सोच है इसके ऊपर ठीक है आसिफ आप, आपने अच्छी बात कही और मैं आपकी बात से अग्री करती हूँ जो गलत है वो गलत है जो सही है वो सही है और किसी की भी अपीजमेंट नहीं होनी चाहिए हमने शो के शुरुआत में यही कहा कि अपीजमेंट ऑफ एनी कम्युनिटी इज नॉट डिजायरेबल We are all together, you know, in country. We are all together in India. But only if you decide to listen to one community, you start hating the other, you start deriding the other's faith. That is also a problem. But देखिए गलती होता है जब आपको कुछ पता नहीं होता आप गलती कर देते हैं. लेकिन अगर जानबूझकर कुछ किया जाए और पकड़ने के खतरे के बाद आप अपनी गलती माने, तो उसको क्या आप गलती कहेंगे? मुझे नहीं पता. But Anurag, weigh on what is the big picture. you know if you look at this karnataka government it's a government of multiple uterns one after the other it has withdrawal symptoms on almost everything it lets the sdpi dictate how it's going to work are we to believe that rahul gandhi is not aware does he not care or is the state you know acting at its own volition Well, uh, Dipti, I think first of all, before we get into the Rahul Gandhi story, look mm. at the irony. The two gentlemen, one Congress spokesperson and one political analyst, who just spoke before mm. me. This is the clear picture, uh, Dipti. When it comes to any litigation on a work property, the gentleman wants you to appeal or we all to appeal, mm. and then let's give the property back. The Congress spokesperson says, if there is a litigation on farmer's land, let the farmer go to NCLT. Mm. Look at the difference. Look at the difference in opinion. Why should a farmer go to a NCLT? Why should a work just uh, you know appeal and then you should give away the land? I mean, you have to understand uniformity in approach, mm, uniformity correct. in outlook is very important for any important political party. When when Mr. Rahul Gandhi speaks about nyaay, mm. when Mr. Rahul Gandhi speaks about sabka samman, right? Why this perception? Why are we even you know debating this? Because in the several instant past several instances we have seen and it's not one month two month one year it's mm. been for the last 10 years i can tell you and you have named it in your show aditya and we have done multiple debates yes. on tipu uh, celebrating tipu jayanti and not letting people study about the fact how many temples mm. were brought down how many hindus were persecuted in the Correct. past i don't want to go into that but the point of the fact of the matter is there is a pattern to the operation of this pattern to how you pursue such a certain you know a policies mm. and people have raised their questions i'm just wondering had this set of farmers not gone gone out to the authorities and hmm. flag their concern about the encroachment they would have i mean if if the notification would have been a gazette for 1200 acres hmm. my god then uh, there was no way that you could have taken this back 1200 acres that's a big land yes, and then the probably village, you know, exactly and yes. and then and then and then the analyst will come on the tv says आप बिल्कुल जाइए हाई कोर्ट जाइए सुप्रीम कोर्ट जाइए एंड देन देर बी समी लाइक यू नो एमिनेंट वकील्स लाइक मिस्टर सिब्बल हु विल ऑफ कोर्स कम एंड आर्ग्यू एंड देन वी विल हैव ऑल द डिबेट्स एंड शो वेयर इज द जस्टिस टू द फार्मर्स बीन सर्व आई एम सेइंग डोंट इवन यू नीड टू इफ यू इफ यू टेक आउट द डेटा यस अनुराग दिस इज अ गुड पॉइंट आई एम जस्ट एट द फैग एंड ऑफ द शो आई विल जस्ट गिव 10 सेकंड्स टू इमरान टू यू नो रिस्पॉन्ड टू दोस सीरियस चार्जेस इमरान आर देयर नो लिमिट्स टू दिस अपीजमेंट So first of all going to a court of law is within your ambit of being a citizen of the country i never said a farmer should go to the nclt i said this is why the wakf tribunal exists to deal with issues like this because these are people with specialized knowledge and yes i absolutely agree with you that there should not be appeasement politics however mm. every citizen of india should be treated equally that is all i have to say mm. and again this is why the work of tribunal exists because there are people with specialized knowledge appointed by the high court to deal with issues pertaining to muslim law i'm But not you saying you know imran it is not that these farmers go to the work it is that the work started claiming that the farmers land belongs to the work and that is why the litigation happens that is the fine point and like i said we will have to yeah. see because this is a journey of the same congress party that had overturned the supreme court's judgment in the shabano case 
Yes. Let's not forget yes. this. It has a long yes. history. We'll continue right. to track that story. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time.